from a bunch of lunar conjunctions with the planets, to the peak of multiple meteor showers, including the Leonids, to Jupiter reaching its closest approach to Earth, here are all the astronomical events for November 2023. So keep watching to learn more about what will happen this month. So, starting on November 3, Jupiter, the most massive planet in our solar system, will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face fully illuminated by the Sun. This event is known as opposition because Jupiter will be opposite the Sun in the sky. At this time, Jupiter will be at its brightest throughout the night and it's the best time to observe the gas giant. You can also see its four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, but a good pair of binoculars or a small telescope, appearing as faint white dots beside the planet. On November 6, we will have the peak of the Southern Torrid meteor shower. The Southern Torrid is a long-running minor meteor shower, producing only about 5 to 10 meteors per hour at its peak. However, it is known for having a high percentage of fireballs or exceptionally bright meteors. The shower runs annually from September 10 to November 20, but this year, it peaks on the night of November 6. The waning crescent moon may block most of the dim meteors this year, but if you are patient, you may still be able to catch a few good ones. The best viewing will be after midnight from a dark location far away from city lights. The meteors will radiate from the constellation Taurus, but can appear anywhere in the sky. On November 9, we will have a lunar occultation of Venus, where the moon will temporarily block the planet from view. The occultation is visible from Europe, Western Russia, Greenland, Africa, Asia, and Svalbard, as seen on this map, starting at 8.58 Coordinated Universal Time and ending at 12.11 Coordinated Universal Time. Areas outside the highlighted parts of the map will witness a Moon-Venus conjunction where our natural satellite will appear close to Venus in the night sky. In astronomy, a conjunction is a celestial event in which two astronomical objects appear close together in the sky. The Moon and Venus will be in the constellation Virgo in the early morning before sunrise. The Moon will be in its waning crescent phase with 17% illumination this night. On November 13, we will have the peak of a long-running minor meteor shower called the Northern Torrids. This shower runs from October 20 to December 10 and peaks this year at 5 meteors per hour. However, the Northern Torrids are known for having a larger percentage of fireballs than most meteor showers. The new moon on this day will provide perfect dark sky conditions for watching meteor showers. The best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. The radiant point will be in the constellation Taurus, but the meteors will appear anywhere in the sky. On November 14, Uranus will reach its opposition, meaning it will be closest to the Earth and its face fully illuminated by the Sun. It will be the best time to view Uranus as it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky and at its brightest during the year. However, a medium-sized high-power telescope is needed to see Uranus as more than a tiny blue-green dot due to its distance from Earth, and it is not visible to the naked eye without optical equipment, especially a telescope with high magnification. On November 18, we will have the peak of the Leonid meteor shower, one of the most famous showers in the night sky. This meteor shower is unique due to its 33-year cyclonic peak where it can produce hundreds of meteors per hour in a single night. The shower runs annually from November 6 to 30 and comes from dust grains left behind by Comet Temple Tuttle. It peaks this year on the night of the 17th and the morning of the 18th. The waxing crescent moon will set before midnight, allowing the fainter meteors to become visible. However, the best viewing will be from a dark location away from a city. The meteors will radiate from the constellation Leo, but can appear anywhere in the sky. Finally, from November 20 to 27, the moon will conjunct with multiple celestial objects in the night sky, beginning with the moon-Saturn conjunction on November 20, where they will appear close together in the heavens. The moon will be in its first quarter phase during this time. Afterward, the moon will proceed to conjunct with Jupiter on November 25, or our natural satellite will be in its waxing gibbous phase with 95% illumination, then conjunct with the Pleiades star cluster on November 27 during a full moon. 
It is a magnificent photographic opportunity to capture the moon and either of the celestial objects it will conjunct with, especially with Saturn or Jupiter together with the moon in one shot. So, that's it for the highlight astronomical events for November 2023 guys, and I hope that you will witness at least some or most of the astronomical events for November 2023. And so, without further ado, I wish you good luck, clear skies, and enjoy the universe before your eyes. And see you next time, and baboosh!